Uh, should I go now? Yeah. Uh, disabled participant screen sharing. So Manchester United 2021 Oshar has been finally sacked and somehow I've been made manager right now. Uh, the most important takeaway I took from this was how important the graphics guy is for a football team. So these are the 11 best players in the entire universe. So, an overview of the game plan is for the attacking organization stretch the pitch horizontally and uh, as far as you can go move the ball, well start from attacking transition. Move the ball quickly, keep players high and wide and uh, it will be more visible right now here. So, what we want to do is as soon as the team wins a ball back, uh, what I want my team to do is that the wingers stay very high and wide. Uh, this video will show. So what I want is the wingers to stay very high and wide to exploit the spaces in behind the defenders. So the ball side holding midfielder will drop into defense. And as such, the, this allows for a, the defense to win the ball back and uh, cause the opposition to make more mistakes. Uh, what I want my midfielders to do is uh, quick one-touch passing, not really hold on to the ball way too much. And uh, so this is a very high risk, high reward strategy. Uh, don't try and slow down the field because as it is quite evident, the uh, you are more susceptible to getting scored on when you are attacking. So, as in this animation, you can see that there were only two players back for the opposition team. The uh, Manchester United passed the ball very quickly and they were able to score very quick. Uh, this was also evident in the Manchester United-Liverpool game where Dan James probably did something similar and United went down. So, during attacking transitions, I actually want my front two, front three to be very high. This allows for the opposition to, this also pulls the opposition back a little and helps defensively. And beyond that, you you can also, uh, and furthermore, I also want my defenders, uh, my one of my forwards to stay very wide, even while attacking. So that the two defenders who, who the opposition have left to stay back are also pulled apart and this creates space for the other attacker to get in and uh, exploit the space in between them or in behind them. Uh, this, the main reason I've done this is that essentially uh, the most vulnerable you are is when you are attacking. So uh, in my opinion, you should make most of the situation where you are trying to uh, where you are defending the ball and as you can see from Manchester United this time, uh, this season, they actually win most of the games when they are defending. So, I think this is a very, uh, very useful strategy against teams uh, where, where you might not be the better team on the ball and but you are still as, as lethal in them on the account. Next, we'll move to attacking organization. So, what I want my team to do in attacking organization is, is my wingers to stay wide and uh, my wingers to stay wide and exploit the fullback. So, by, by staying wide, as uh, I was mentioning the other night, uh, I want my uh, wingers to stay wide and vacate the half spaces for of the midfielders or fullbacks to uh, take up because because statistically speaking the more the most uh, effectively 
the most easiest way to score is on crosses so i want my so i want my players to be able to play across at all times uh, nearer to goal the better and so furthermore i also want my uh, in case where you uh, a full back has become distracted i will also give my uh, vigorous certain freedom to be able to make diagonal runs in behind at the far post uh, because uh, for example kevin de bruyne plays that uh, ball over the over the head of the defense very often where he puts it on a plate for the on rushing winger which from the opposite side uh furthermore i want my center forward to be able to play as a midfielder almost as a false nine because more often than not what happens is the false nine becomes very stationary against a park the bus defense and uh, he and uh, as as such this limits the space so by dropping deep he'll most probably pull one of the center backs out this will it, this will disturb the defensive uh, uh, this, this defensive organization of the defense and this also allows for one twos which one twos with the winger or the attacking midfielder to get in behind and get a shot out furthermore uh, as since i want my team which we'll see in the next phase which is the defensive transitions i actually want my team to be able to defend uh, to press our uh, press high and able to win the ball uh, and be able to win the ball back as soon as we lose it uh, the full backs will be tuck inwards and move into midfield so as to protect against counters and get the loose ball so next up we have defensive transition so as such i want my players to press the ball high and fast and create turnovers in possession i also want them to make angled runs uh, uh, and and force the ball towards the wing where and almost box the opposition in so that he has to play a, a risky over the top ball to the other over the other flank which may lead to a, a turn so in defensive transitions uh, but once the opposition has settled themselves and they have an attack going i would actually prefer my team to actually sit back create two line create a line of 5 or 4 and uh, a 5 a 3 and a 2 which will allow us to uh, counter in the most specifically i don't really want them to be pressing near the box i'd rather they pass the bus like Jose Mourinho or Julian Nagelsmann finally we come to defensive organization so what i want my uh, so the team has been set up into a 4 2 3 but uh, as has been seen in recently with how pep and uh, klopp uh, exploit the half spaces i actually want my ball side holding midfielder to actually drop into defense this was very evident the france world cup 2018 campaign where they would push paul pogba and matuidi i believe to defense and make two lines of 6 and 4 63 and then they had mbappe running wild up front so i actually want a similar situation uh, where my uh, ball side midfielder actually drops into defense uh, for now i'll assume that pogba actually has the awareness to do that but in an ideal world so the midfielder and center forward were drop into midfield this will allow for uh, a good numerical advantage in midfield base so that the midfield so that the midfielder don't get out numbered in there and they can do quick one touch passes so is which will reduce the uh, Uh, which will reduce the probability of uh, losing the ball uh, in a risk situation because as uh, as i already talked you are most vulnerable in situations where you are starting to uh, in your attacking transition so if uh, if say my midfielder loses the ball in this uh, 
if my midfielder uses the ball in this area where there could be a chance for uh, my midfield to be at, uh, my midfield and defense to be out of position and which will lead to a goal uh, yet again i probably want my wingers to stay high and wide because uh, as i believe this is the best way to score a goal which is on the counters and uh, as much bet you have you'll be able to score a goal because going uh because given my job as a data analyst i kind of believe that data never lies and most probably and the highest probability of scoring a goal is actually on crosses so i also want my full backs to stay tight to the wingers and uh, force one on one uh, force them to turn, create uh, create turnovers by letting them do some by showing them the outside letting them take them on and then winning the ball such as uh, finally what i want from my uh, team is which doesn't play in part to any organization or stuff i want them to be actually take risks not not be scared of getting scored on i'll always believe in concede three score four and so get the ball high wide to your tricky players do a robona do a plastico and take advantage of whatever skills you have so be creative in possession don't really fret too much about getting scored upon more or less this is it okay Okay, ma. Thank you. Well done. Uh, any questions, guys? Uh, just a small question, ma. I mean, uh, so you were going for like, let's say, the France setup where they have six at the back and three of them go wild at front or go at least wide and then run quickly. I mean, you you setting up a bit of a defensive shape here, and then you said something about uh, you'd rather score four and let three in. I mean, would that like wouldn't you want to like concede less to begin with rather than be like you know looking to score one more than the opposition with this strategy in mind? Just to, just curiosity. So actually, I want my. Uh, so the defensive organization that i went for is actually a counter uh, counter strategy to the kind of uh, football that is generally very successful these days as you can see pep guardiola jurgen klopp all of them try and exploit the half spaces so my thing with that is this will minimize the chance for uh, scoring a goal in those kind of situations and beyond that but i also realize that you'll only be able to do it in uh, this kind of uh, you'll only be able to play this kind of football when you aren't exactly the uh, for say 12 of the games in a whole season and for the rest of the 26 you'll probably be attacking uh, a lot because the other team isn't so quite technically skilled on the ball so okay So I guess match to match, you would switch between being more attacking and more counter attacking. Ah uh, yes. Uh, Mahad, when you mentioned the midfielder and CF drop deep to keep numerical, but if you keep, if you look at this image that you have on the left side, don't you think the full backs or on generally the right side are too much into space? And if you mention Liverpool, they've got a great weapon of putting in early crosses in as well. so how would you counteract to that so as uh, liverpool so it kind of actually uh, differs uh, from team to team because as you can see okay. manchester city push up their midfielders up upfield into those kind of situations and liverpool uh, mm. they kind of keep but, their midfield but, but but then man city the but then man city creator if i am not wrong they have two players in the half spaces 
wingers on wide and the two full backs come inside to the midfield so then how would you counteract the immense superiority in the midfield if you only have two or three guys in the middle so as such uh, when the players are in high half spaces when you turn the ball around uh, uh, you can see it becomes a kind of a 3v3 situation with their two midfielders and with their two full backs and their holding midfielder uh, so i think this is a probably a match up that you could expect to work the situation so then I guess, have, where where would you have martial would you would martial be where he is in this picture or would he be in the midfield line actually so i probably want to uh Martial and McTominay and Bruno to be able to rotate and create passing angles for each other but i essentially want him to be very active in defending with the ball okay so that because there's a there's the, without the ball because there's a little a uh, little gray line ke where would he be because if he be, if he is where he is right now then that would that would have superiority in the midfield if he's in the midfield line yes then you could say it would be 3v3 so clarity is key i think okay mahad i think you've gone for real risk reward you know and uh, uh, i mean that's the way you want to play that's the way you want to play i'm not going to argue with you but yeah. uh, essentially the full backs of the other team will get a lot of joy right because your wingers are instructed to not worry defensively at all right now so like this, you mentioned japan so as you can see there was the brazil versus belgium game uh, in which uh, belgium started lukaku and uh, neymar uh, i believe neymar so lukaku was able to destroy marcelo in that game because he had so much space and reward so this is probably a risk reward situation but i but i feel in the current uh, i actually went on the current uh, most successful way of playing which is usually a 2 3 5 in attack so i went five defenders that's, to attack that's fine to, I, i think i'm not i'm not discounting i think that uh, you know i i'm not there's no right or wrong like i said you've explained mm-hmm. the risk you've explained the reward you know you're going for this risk you feel it will help you uh, other managers may feel they'll get a lot of joy if they can control possession majority of the time then you won't have that you won't have that opportunity to use your weapon right so um yeah. if i were a manager playing against you i would say fine tk ye risk hai this is a threat but if we can really dominate possession majority of the time uh, we could wear them out wear them down and create so many chances that we could just run away with the game uh, you know at half time potentially but uh, also another thing go to defensive transition go to sorry go to attacking organization please attacking organization may you mention that you would like your attacking midfielders like bruno pogba you had compared it to kevin de bruyne how they get space in these areas and are able to whip crosses into the box right uh yes i'm just saying again i think that just my view that numerically you will find it difficult because since you don't have any of your full backs joining in if you look at the numerically the situation you will have sancho against the left back right you will have bruno perhaps against the number 10 or even the number 6 coming into the area in the blue and you'll have martial who who according to your theory would want, want to be in the box to attack crosses right so potentially of sancho and your attacking midfielder against number 11 of the blue number 10 number 4 or oh sorry forget number 4 number 6 and the blue left back so that's 1 2 3 4 against two of your reds i think it's highly unlikely that your attacking midfielder will have any space or time to get in between the lines and deliver crosses into the box yeah because generally even if you look at this image only there is lack of width on one side to to completely stretch the team even if even if there's not 
even if you do provide that with agar tum sancho ko line pe dal do theek hai put him on the line you still have uh, you still have only bruno sancho against 1 2 yeah. 3 even if it's 2 v 2 Even if it's two v two, as we've discussed, guys, it's very difficult to find joy against two in the two v two situation, right? Three v two, four v two is where we can where you can really get joy and exploit uh, the weaknesses of the other team. But again, Mahan, absolutely no right and wrong. I'm just saying, if I was looking at this critically, I would say I struggle to really um, see how you would get joy here with Bruno and Pogba. You know. Mm-hmm. That's what nothing you mentioned. You um, meant no, go on. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I, this is quite. Yeah, I'm sure you're like quite uh, popping the idea, or you know, taking the idea from Manchester City how to do it. Um, what you're doing okay. is that. तुमने जो सांचो है इसको भी डिफेंडर के साथ कॉम्पैक्ट किया है और वहाँ से रैशफोर्ड को वाइट किया है एंड यू वांट पॉग्बा एंड ब्रोनो टू स्टे बैक एंड क्रॉस राइट No, I actually have given them the uh, license to be able to cross or actually run into this area. Yeah. Okay. So running into the spaces, if we uh, keep Sancho wide, that would probably make more sense. Because, I mean, then it's that it will be overloaded in the attack. Because Pogba and Bruno would obviously, you know, attack half spaces with Martial. and rashford and sancho could you know cross the ball in yeah. keep in mind one thing as well mahat that uh, in if you, if you look at city's model we do have uh, the right back kyle walker or whoever it is if you if you look at awb he's not he's going to support the attack he may not be overlapping he may not be underlapping but he's still there to to be an option to create a chance and to find and to find bruno Do you know what I'm? Do you know what I mean? Ah oh, yes. Okay, but listen, uh, good stuff. I think you. I like how you are always on the. You're kind of pushing the envelope, and you're a bit uh, nice and controversial with your tactics.